So today I want to talk about free audio recording software that is out there that is absolutely free and the best part is it has no limitations almost no limitations. So if you're getting into recording, you're probably looking at what kind of software should I use? What kind of DAW or digital audio workstation should I buy? The big ones you probably hear about are gonna be like Pro Tools, Logic Pro, but these come with a hefty price tag. I think with Pro Tools, it ranges from free, but you only get about eight tracks to work with, or you can end up spending $130 a month. But my question is, do you have to spend that much? Can you get away with spending nothing and getting just as good as software? So let's find out. This video is my top five best free DAWs that have no limitations. The first recording software I wanna talk about is Audacity. This audio editor is open source and you can run it on any platform. So if you're a Mac user, if you're a PC user, if you're a Linux user, you can download this really quick and it'll probably run on anything. I think it comes standard with 45 plugins. This is a really good piece of software if you're a podcaster or if you need to do voiceover work. If you need to edit something quick, this is a really good piece of software to download. And I think because how easy and accessible the software is, you see this software everywhere. There are a couple situations where I wouldn't use Audacity. For example, doing really big session multi-track recording. I'm pretty sure you can do unlimited tracks with it, but I just don't think it's designed for that. But I just feel like when you get into like bigger track management, this just doesn't have the tools that it, you would need. So if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced than Audacity, I would recommend SoundBridge. SoundBridge is a free DAW that is available on all the platforms. So again, if you're a Linux user, if you're PC, Mac, you can download this right now. You have unlimited tracks. The user interface is nice. And what's nice about the way it's designed is it's designed to work on touch screens. So if you have some kind of tablet device that runs Windows, you can run the software natively off your device, which I think is really cool. Right out of the box, it comes with some decent plugins. And if you like using third-party plugins, which you probably do, um, you can. Now with the free version, you get full access to the software. The only thing is you have to deal with the donation pop-up. This is how they make money, which makes sense. It'll do everything you need it to do, especially if you're getting into music production. And um, yeah, SoundBridge. Okay, let's talk about Cakewalk. I haven't played with Cakewalk since pre-Pro Tools. Like I was like 20 years old when I had Cakewalk and I hated it. I hated setting up. I found the routing was brutal. It was overwhelming. However, I fired it up last week just to see what it's like and how it's improved, and it is awesome. So like the other DAWs, it has unlimited tracks, it has a ton of really good plugins, and they sound really good. You can spend so much time just playing with their plugins. Out of the box, it's giving you full editing features, so if you want to do a major production, there is nothing that's going to stop you from doing a full out production in Cakewalk. There are a couple things that you can work around. The first thing is the interface. As long as I remember, it's just been overwhelming. Like, there's a lot of stuff right on the first interface when it fires up that it kind of makes you freeze a little bit. But once you get into it, it's not that bad. The layout makes sense, and you can get up and running fairly quick, but you just gotta get over that initial shock of all the buttons and all the things. The other thing is, this is only available on PC. You can't get this for Linux or Mac. I have it on my Mac because I'm running Bootcamp. So if you have an Intel Mac, you can run Bootcamp and run Windows natively, and Cakewalk will work amazingly. However, if you have an M chip of any kind, you can maybe use Parallels. But I have to say overall, when I was testing out these DAWs, this is the one that I think I spent the most time in, not because I found it tricky, but just because there were so many things to play with. So the fourth DAW on my list is Waveform Free. This is another full out DAW. So like you get unlimited tracks, you get a ton of plugins, you get VST third party support. You can also run this on Mac, PC or Linux. This software is solid and you can do a full production on it, no problem. It also has a really good sampler. So if you want to start using loops, you can right out of the box, which is really good. So the only thing with this software is that there's a little bit more of a learning curve. But overall, I think this is a really good piece of software that you can download right now and start making music. And there's a good chance that if you get comfortable with using Waveform at the beginning, you'll probably stick with it because there's no real reason to go to anything else. My fifth recommendation, I do this in every video, is Reaper. I know Reaper isn't free, but I really recommend this one for the price tag because it's basically free. The way the pricing works with Reaper is you get a 60 day trial, after that you can decide to pay or you can keep using it for free. I do recommend paying for it, it's $60 and if you're making over 20 grand in your production studio, I think the license is like $200 or 250. Now Reaper is a very flexible piece of software. So if you wanna like mix with a hundred tracks with a ton of plugins, or if you need to do video editing for a film, you can do it in Reaper. In fact, it comes with a ton of really good plugins. So if you need really good EQs and compressors, you get them right out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the UI because 
I know there's people that are gonna see this that are Reaper fans that are gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't pick on the UI, but I'm going to because it does matter. If I have to stare at something all day and work on a 50, 60 track edit, I wanna have something that's somewhat inspiring. So, but with that said, if you don't like how it looks, you have the options of adding skins. And there's a ton of skins you can use to make it more inspiring, which you see, it really breaks down to the size of the download file. Reaper is small. You can run Reaper off a thumb drive if you wanted to, which is kind of cool. So you can have an external hard drive and just go where you need to go, which in theory I think is actually brilliant. But because of the size of the hard drive, you do lose things. For example, the plugins are very basic looking. There's nothing inspiring about them at all. There's no loops or samples, so if that's something you're interested in, but over time, you can build up your bank of loops and samples. Oh, you can make custom scripts. So if you're into making your own macros, and let's say you have a workflow that you want to customize, you can literally program it yourself in Reaper. So if you are looking for a DAW that you're probably going to be a lifer with, um, and something that will compete with like Logic or Pro Tools, Reaper's the one. But for $60, it's something that you're going to use. There's no reason to go to anything else. Reaper is a brilliant DAW. So in conclusion, there's five options for you that you can use right now that can do any production style that you're looking to do. And you don't have to pay for a subscription. You don't have to pay a lot of money to get working on your podcast, audiobooks, music production, whatever. It's all there. It's free. Um, it's a great time to be alive. Anyways, I hope this helps. Thank you very much and uh, happy music making.